The Immortal John Hancock here, and I have a special uh, video I'd like to share with you today. Um, I completed my Greatest Hits PlayStation collection last year, and it is, it is a large collection. There's more than you probably think, and it's not well documented in video form, especially on YouTube, and so I've decided to break my Greatest Hits PlayStation collection down into three parts and show what a uh, complete collection looks like. Now, a complete collection to me is having one version of a game, at least. Uh, I don't have all the variations. Uh, so there's there's well close, I think there's over 170 Greatest Hits PlayStation titles. Now, for some of you out there, I know that you dislike uh, PlayStation Greatest Hits, uh, the way they look, or budget release, or, or whatever. Um, for me, I absolutely love collecting Greatest Hits titles. Uh, I would one day like to have all the Greatest Hits titles of all the systems, but um, I, I don't know why I gravitate to it. Um, I really enjoyed uh, collecting the Sega ones, and I'm currently going after some of the Nintendo uh, Player's Choice uh, titles. But anyways, without further ado, this is going to be a fairly long video. I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to break it down to three parts so it's more manageable. Uh, there are some very rare titles, and I'm going to make some comments uh, as I go along about the ones that you may be pretty difficult to find. They're not necessarily expensive. It's just a lot of people don't collect this stuff, and so a lot of this stuff has been thrown out. It's not well archived. And so without further ado, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into showing uh, the first part of three. So here's the greatest hits, what a PlayStation greatest hits uh game looks like North American and there's three color types on a greatest hits disc now there is a serial number on the manual it should match the disc this is a kind of an example of a typical one uh, when you open it up there is a clear disc um, typically um, a budget release PlayStation greatest hits game it, it has just a um, there isn't uh, a colored disc later on those discs became black had black with white lettering and then the really late release ones had white discs with black lettering it's really bizarre those are the three general uh, color choices of a greatest hits game uh, on the disc anyways world's not enough 007 again these are in loose alphabetical order um, apologize you know it may not be totally right tomorrow never dies We have one extreme. All right, we got two extreme. Some of these are pretty, pretty hard to get. Not, not the one, not those. But again, I've had to search on eBay for many of these because I just couldn't find them anywhere. It's just silly. Activision, uh, a collection of Activision classic games. I love myself some classic Activision. Air Combat. Air Combat has a lot of variations. Alien Trilogy, excellent game. Andretti Racing. Ape Escape. Army Man 3D. Gosh, they made so many Army Man games for the <laughs> PlayStation. Army Man Air Attack. Some of them weren't that bad. Others, terrible. But those two, pretty good. Asteroids. Battle Arena Toshiden. Again, this is the game that uh, I first played on the PlayStation. Very first game. Here's a cool variation. Um, it's a couple different versions of Castlevania. Uh, there was a Costco edition, and this is, uh, I have a sealed copy of it. Got this long ago. Yeah, sealed, sealed Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, Jesse, Jesse, if you're watching this, thank you to me, man. <laughs> Uh, 
Casper. Chrono Cross, and again, um, with Greatest Hits, they all had their Greatest Hits manuals as well, and, and so it's it's definitely uh, uh, a challenge sometimes to track down complete copies. All these are complete. Crash Bandicoot, Warped. These are all the Crash games, so these might have got a little out of order. Um, Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash Bandicoot. This game you used to find this game everywhere, and now it's getting harder to find. I mean, it's not rare. It's just you know, it's a good game. Everybody wants it. So, um, not to not to mention Crash Team Racing. Crash Bash. I got a little bit out of order. My apologies. I forgot the Cool Borders games. Cool Borders 2. Cool Borders 3. Cool Borders 4. Alright. We have Croc. That's a good game. That's a good platform game. I enjoyed playing some Croc. Dance Dance Revolution Economics. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX. Die Hard Trilogy. Destruction Derby. Love this game. Absolutely love this game. Played a lot of that. Destruction Derby 2. And again, all these were found locally. All these games were found uh, not going online, but a very few of them. There was a few variations that I couldn't find anywhere. And uh, so most of these, or I'd say 98% were found in person. All right, the next three, gosh, you know, this, some of these are pretty hard to find. I had to track them down. I had to search everywhere, high and low. Uh, Digimon, Digimon Rumble Arena Greatest Hits. Digimon World Greatest Hits. And a really late release, Digimon World 3. Pretty hard to get. Disney made a trilogy, uh, Disney Bugs Life. Some people out inventory it as Bugs Life or A Bugs Life. I, I go, I put them under Disney and then they're all together. Disney's Bugs Life, Disney's Monsters Incorporated, Disney's Tarzan. All right. Okay, so next we got Dino Crisis. Another pretty hard one to get. Doom. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. Okay. This next part is <laughs> silly. Um, and I'm going to show you a game, that, a game variation that's not on many lists. And I want to thank uh, Corey Stride of Classics and Oddities for pointing that out for me. Um, for first of all, you have Driver. Driver was released. Then there's Driver 2, okay? No big deal, pretty common. The, the, both of those are really common. What's not common is the Driver 1 and 2 combo pack. Yes, they made a combo pack. It came with a sleeve. This And finding a complete copy of this was tough. And inside... It's different. So the original driver release had a clear disc. This one uh, has the, it's a late release, so that's why it's not on many lists. It also came with a promo for for the third driver. So driver one and two came a promo for driver three, like a looks like a bumper sticker. 
and um, as well as some Atari st goodies, Atari stickers. Anyway, so driver one and two combo came with a paper sleeve. This is really tough to get. Um, had to track had to track this down online and uh, definitely definitely worth tracking down. Just really tough to hard to find. Alright. Duke's a hazard. Duke Nukem. Time to kill. And Fighting Force. There's a lot of variations of Eidos games. Um, a lot of it has to do with the placement of logos um, on the on the front there. I have a couple of them. Uh, again, uh, it, it's it's a minor variation. Some people really freak out about this stuff, but uh, for me, I was just happy to get one copy, especially a game that probably not going to play a ton. So, all right. Final Fantasy games. Let's let's get going. I have a weird variation of Final Fantasy 2. So here's Final Fantasy 7. You know, again, I know RPG people are like, ah, got to have the the black label, as they say. A black label means the original release. I'm fine with the greatest hits copy. By the way, I played this game a lot, and yes, I cried. All right, this next one. So here's here's Final Fantasy 8. I have a complete copy of it, but this copy is strange because it's an error. And error games are collectible, um, prices vary, but this is kind of cool because one of the discs didn't have any label artwork on it. And it's a PlayStation game. You have a PlayStation back to it. It's in good shape too. But it's silver on the front. It's bizarre. Just bizarre. So that's cool, that's kind of an error, um, but yeah. So Final Fantasy IX, often overlooked, great game. Final Fantasy Anthology. Final Fantasy Chronicles. Final Fantasy Origins. Final Fantasy Tactics, such an awesome game. Then we had Formula One, Frogger, Frogger Two, Swampy's Revenge. Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 2. Those are really good games. And Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 2. So again, this is part one of three. Uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, I look forward to uploading the um, other two parts every Sunday. So. Stay tuned. Uh, this is John Hancock signing out.